the dreaded check engine light. I don't know what it is yet, so I'm gonna go into the access part and see what it is. All right, so it says that. Let me see how I can reset it. Never resetted any codes on this before, so. Clear codes from the ECU, so. Turn that off. All right, cool. Go check engine light. Cool. Thank God. Check engine light came on. I was just driving, just cruising about 65, 70 miles an hour. Next thing you know, check engine light came on. So at least I know next time it comes on, it's probably going to be that most likely. Hopefully, that's just it. All right, guys, just going to do a little vlog here. I just want to let you know that I've switched back to the Cobb Stage 2 map. Originally, I was running the Brent Toon map, and then the other day, I hit boost and noticed that I was getting boost up to 24 PSI. Not sure if that's safe. Um, I'm reading on the forums that, you know, people are maxing out 20, 21, 22, uh, 24 was pretty much unheard of. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe it is normal, just normal boost spike for a um, uncatted, uncatted downpipe or J-pipe, whatever you call it. But just for now, until I find out some more information, I'm just going to run the Cobb Stage 2 tune. That was our Stage 2 Pro tune, I should say, uh, until I figure everything out. But they both run fine. Um, just minor characteristics between the two. And they both feel strong. The brand tune has a little bit more boost programmed into that tune than the Cobb map. Uh, maybe the Cobb map is just, you know, tuned that way for safety. And Brent tune is, he's just trying to make some power, man. Hey, uh, uh, big ups to that but so far i got a couple new mods uh, on the way a little uh, impulse buys um not really too big uh not not big mods but just mods that will just um enhance the performance and and there's one mod or actually a couple mods gonna enhance the look but nothing too big nothing too expensive you know if you guys are data logging if you want your uh, graphs to be easier to read just um go on the website datazap.v just make your um logs more easier to read you know it puts it in a graph format so uh, before i said the, the cob stage 2 tune may feel a little stronger but now when i evaluate it and pay more attention to it uh the brand tune obviously feels um just a little bit slightly stronger than the cob stage 2 map obviously maybe um the brand tune has a little bit more boost programmed in, into its tune versus the COP Stage 2 map, which is programmed at 20.5 PSI. So that's where I'm at, um, is 23.6 PSI max, almost 24 PSI max. Is, is that um, safe peak boost to run on a pretty much stock 2015 WRX? I don't know, I'm gonna go research that um, on the good old interwebs and see which one I'm gonna run. Got me a new microphone. All right, give me a new microphone. Hopefully it'll help with my videos because the sound in my video is seriously lacking and I need a better microphone. The GoPro mi microphone is just weak and got this on Amazon for like 20 bucks, so. If this works better, I hope I get better audio out of my video, so I tend not to talk very loud. So here's the test. If it sounds good, let me know. All right, so check it out. Just got a new box in the mail today. Came home and these were on my front door. I almost forgot I had these or I almost forgot I ordered them. So I'm just gonna unbox them for you, install it if I have any time today and then hopefully it works out for the better. So these are white line 22 millimeter sway bar for the rear. Now, since I forgot I ordered these, the one thing I did not order was end links. All right, let's get this bad boy unboxed. See what comes in the box. Hopefully they got it. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So I ordered this from Subi Speed. It actually uh, got here pretty quick. I ordered this along with a whole bunch of other products with I'm not going to mention just yet.
Dang, can't open this. Excuse all the noise. That's not the new mic setup too while I'm at it. So there's that. And what else comes in a box? Oh, that's right, huh? This is the rest of it. Okay, I got it. Cool. This has got those little uh, thing of at the end to help keep the bar from moving side to side. And some greaseless bushings. I guess these locks or whatever you call it. I don't know what they're called. Anyways. Order these. Probably gonna go online and order some end links while I'm at it. But here's the install. today um, got this on eBay for super cheap and I've actually been holding out on these only because and I'll show you why I've been holding out on them. this was sort of an impulse buy I got this for super cheap so I just couldn't say no to them <laughs> all right here it is your typical Subaru mod I got some rock blocks mud mud flaps uh, my only concern is I've got these on there already, so I'm going to be a tester to see if they will work with those or not. Stay tuned. We're gonna fly. 